There's a fight happening. God. <laughs> yeah, they can. Oh, no. I, look, I can't say I haven't enjoyed Rick and Morty at some point, but I, it's, I think it's a fan base thing. That's why you never, ever, ever, ever get involved. No, no, it's the entire internet. Like, uh, 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 two different friends who live in Texas, different parts of Texas went to go, there's some tour going around, uh, Rick yeah, and Morty. The, the Rick chart was in Austin. Yeah, it was, yeah. It was in San Antonio a couple days ago, and right now it's down in Corpus, I think. And I'm just like... And plus all my friends that are just into Rick and Morty, period. I'm just... It's one of those things, like... Like, My Little Pony, at a certain point, I'm just fucking tired of it. You know what I mean? You don't have a high enough IQ to That really helps. <laughs> to be fair, you have to have a very high IQ to understand Rick and Morty. The humor is extremely subtle, and without a solid grasp on theoretical physics, most jokes will go over the typical viewer's head. There's also Rick's nihilistic <laughs> outlook, which is deftly woven into his characterization. His personal philosophy draws heavily from Narnia Volta literature, for example. The fans understand this stuff. <laughs> They have the intellectual capacity to truly appreciate the depths of these jokes. To realize that they're not just funny, they say something deep about life. As a consequence, people who dislike Rick and Morty truly are idiots. Of course they wouldn't appreciate, for instance, she's trying to fart and can't stop laughing. This, I did this? You did this. I did this. By saying, oh, look at me, I'm special by getting in the... I'm a special little boy. <laughs> I got Trials Fusion for free this month. I feel like a boss. <laughs> Jesus. I'm going to play Hand of Fate. Yeah. Fuck this. <laughs> 